ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the madness and for today's video i wanted to give you guys a first look at my baby psylocke rocking her brand new uniform and boys if you've been following me for a while you know immediately what i'm gonna say right this uniform is an absolute must buy you will never regret purchasing this uniform i can tell you that right now however if you are short on crystals, because I know there's a lot of stuff in the game that costs crystals, you do not need to feel pressured to buy this uniform. You can buy it somewhere down the line because like I said, you will never regret purchasing it. It's an amazing upgrade to an already amazing character. And like I said, an already amazing character. Psylocke, in my opinion, is probably the strongest character in the game right now without a uniform like if you compare all of the characters in the game and you take away their uniforms from them psylocke would probably tower tower above all of them she's that powerful there's no future in this game where i think she would need a uniform but the uniform definitely adds survivability and a lot more damage so it is definitely a justifiable upgrade in my opinion especially with the new forward skill it is beautiful boys it is beautiful shout out to net marble that forward skill that they added to this uniform man is a banger absolutely love it honestly most of the time when we get special effects for characters on their skills i look at it a couple times and then i turn it off because it will often cost you damage because your rotation will be a little bit slower in war boss ultimate but more than anything is gonna cost you some survivability because when the cinematic takes over the entire screen in war boss ultimate sometimes the bosses will take that opportunity to use an attack that ignores iframes and because you can't see because your entire screen is taken over by the cinematic they'll just snipe you and one shot you so most of the time because of that i turn off the special effects however for psylocke it is so beautiful that i have to leave it on man i have to leave it on i'd rather lose some dps and lose some survivability just to look at it i'm just saying it's that good boys but besides the animation on the fourth skill she's getting some pretty solid changes that i absolutely love now one of the main problems that people had with psylocke and i don't even think this is a real problem right because saying the word problem implies that it was bad and what i'm talking about is her survivability people had a problem with her survivability not being as good as they wanted and I can't lie, I'm one of those people, but that's just because I want more because I love the character. And with this uniform, she's getting some more HP. It's not healing like I would have personally wanted, but some more HP, 20% more HP is definitely a significant increase to her survivability. In addition to that, she's getting a much longer iframe on her forward skill. So this forward skill is absolutely amazing. In addition to that, boys, her new third skill is fabulous. I love the shuriken that she has without the uniform, and I'm going to miss it. However, I personally like the new three skill a lot more because oftentimes when you would trigger her third skill without the uniform, she would jump backwards to fire out the shuriken because she's creating space between herself and the boss, and that's always good. You don't want to be super close to the boss because if they do an attack short notice, you get clapped, right? However, for me, I found that that jump backwards created too much space for me to actually cancel in her forward skill, and her forward skill without a uniform is absolutely insane in terms of the amount of damage that it did so the shuriken would actually steal the proc and lower my damage so i personally prefer this one and this is actually a really cool skill because if you tap it and release it it will immediately attack however if you tap and hold it kind of like korat's third skill or captain america's tier three skill you will get the attack buff the all speed buff and the crit rate buff keep in mind you need to tap and hold the immunity is immediate all of the effects that you had without the uniform they're immediate but the new changes like the all attack the incapacitation that stuff you need to tap and hold and then release right you don't need to release it to 
let the attack fire out. For me personally, I just tap and hold, let it charge for like two seconds. Once I see that she's about to fire the slash, I actually cancel into the new fourth skill. And honestly, even though I love the old fourth skill because it did so much damage and it looked really cool, I personally prefer the new fourth skill simply because the Fourth skill without the uniform is a one directional attack. It's a one dimensional attack that goes straight forward. So if you're up against somebody who is really annoying like Ebony Ma, who likes to move around you, sometimes you will miss. Whereas with this new fourth skill, it's a 360 attack, right? So no matter where he goes, he's gonna get the business. So this is actually absolutely amazing. This fourth skill is offering so much and I love the new third skill as well. So with this new uniform and a few small tweaks, I've actually increased just how many stages I can clear with this girl right now. So before the update, I showed you guys 45 Call Obsidian and 65 Ebony Ma. Now, just with the uniform and a few small tweaks, we're at 68 Ebony Ma, right? 68 Ebony Ma and 48 Call Obsidian. And that's quite impressive considering the uniform is still at normal. So getting this thing to Mythic tells me that chances are, boys, we're going to be pushing stage 75 against Ebony Ma. And I'm looking forward to that, man. She's absolutely amazing. And her survivability definitely goes up in this uniform as well besides just the hp buff because now all you literally have to do is three tap and hold cancel into four for the damage then go into five and you're going damage immunity iframe iframe damage immunity you don't even need to well you never really needed to use the one and two but now there's literally little to no reason to use it at all you could tap it just to get the decreased mine resistance but for me i literally just go three four five three four five three four five you can go three five if you want to but i find that the new four skill actually deals more damage than the fifth skill right so that's just me and boys i finally did it i actually gave her the 200 percent damage proc it's kind of sad because we lost some mind damage, but your boy's still working on it. We're still trying to get the perfect goblins for her. We still need to finish up her Uru's, man. But baby girl gonna get all the love that she deserves all in due time. I won't keep you guys too long. Let's actually jump in right here and I'll show you guys a couple World Boss Ultimate runs with her. We'll actually go up against Call Obsidian. I was trying 49 today. It's really, really close. So let's see if we can pull it off today. And who do we want to use for strikers here? We don't have the poison in here, so we can be super aggressive. We don't need anti-venom. Let's, let's rock like this, boys. Let's rock like this. We're going to have to be real careful here. And try not to get hit with those blade twisters. Also have to be careful of this guy with the uh, penetration. Oh, baby. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, that was nice. That was pretty. Team up on the four. That is, that was beautiful. Yeah, okay, Proc is on the five now. It's all good. The great thing about her is both her fourth and her fifth do amazing damage so you miss the proc on one high damage skill and you get it back on another skill that does amazing damage like ooh, rip him apart yo baby girl putting in all types of work right now whoo oh boy we are in a little bit of trouble because there's a slight gap in the iframe. And also, I love that close up on the booty. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why. <laughs> I'm pretty. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got the talking and I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And I got hit with the stupid uh, blade twister. I said I didn't want to get hit with that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the real reason why I'm keeping the SFX on. <laughs> I'm terrible, guys. I'm absolutely terrible. I'm vile. Anyways, um, should have actually took that opportunity to, to attack him, but it's all good. Who actually missed the proc there? Okay, let's let's actually start focusing again. Come on, baby. Who 
hello. Yo. Also, guys, pro tip. All right, even though I'm being like really sloppy here, you can cancel the forward skill as soon as you see um, Psylocke whoo, closes her blade. As soon as you see her close the blade right there, you can cancel the fourth into the fifth. And that actually will still give you the full amount of damage and also protect you from landing and then getting body. Because one thing I did notice with me is I waited until after. Oh my goodness, I'm doing way yeah, I'm doing way better now that I'm actually. Oh boy. Anyways, almost got killed. But I actually just noticed it right now because let me let me try one more time. Close. Yup. Okay, let's actually stop right there. Wow. Okay, so I definitely can do way higher. Well, not way higher, maybe like 51 or 52. One thing I noticed now that I'm actually paying attention and trying to focus because I'm doing a video is the fact that if you wait until just when she closes the blade and then cancel into the fifth skill, you get the full amount of damage from the fourth and you're a lot safer than if you actually wait until she touches the ground after she closes the blade. For me, I was waiting before until she touches the ground, but that's when I was taking a lot of damage. So pro tip for you guys there, even though it's the scrub load at the wheels, so I ain't no pro, but from time to time, I think I give you. I think I give good advice. We're gonna try 69, right? I was doing 68 earlier, but since we could do 49, cull, we might actually be able to pull off 69 here against Ebony, man. This guy's super annoying, though. So let's see how it goes. All right, yo, geezer. Let's see what you got for me. Oh, I was going to say he dodged it. I was a little bit too slow there. One thing I noticed about Psylocke though, is because of how tight this rotation is, it's almost as tight as that suit. Anyways, I actually canceled the skill too early there. Because of how tight this rotation is, using the team up, if you don't get the fourth on the team up, you're better off just um, canceling it. Because it's going to throw off your proc timing and your whole skill rotation. So sometimes I don't even bother using the team up. But yeah, the rotation is, is hella tight. Oh, damn it. I missed. I missed with both. Really? Okay, no more games, old, yo, old man. No more games. Ah, really? This guy. Yo, I wonder if I'll be better off with a CTP of energy. Since now I'm only giving her like 29% mind damage from the obelisk. Before I was giving her like almost 60 I'm toying with the idea of giving her a CTP of energy. Yo. It's just beautiful watching her new skills, man. Like, well, it's only one new skill, but like, it's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Shout out to Netmarble, man. Like, that's one thing I was worried about. Like, when they were giving her this uniform, when, when I thought she was getting a uniform, I was like, please don't give her a uniform that like upsets the balance and make it so that her rotation isn't as smooth and fluid as it was before oh my goodness like look at this beautiful beautiful now this is where i have to be a little bit cautious with her because this guy does these attacks let's actually wait okay okay oh boy i'm gonna get hit Whew. damn it damn it <laughs> see these attacks are so annoying because they blitz the whole map and there's whew, really nowhere to hide man like he's so annoying like he is so annoying and then you have to watch out for the dark meteor that's the worst but the damage is absolutely stellar you just have to be a little bit cautious with this guy
Rock timing is a little bit off. But yeah, we can definitely do 69. Okay, so canceling right when she closes the blade. Well, closes the blade, closes the sword, resheats the blade, whatever you want to call it. You know, is is the perfect, perfect part to like cancel. For me at the very least, okay? Like right there, hit the fifth. Then the mind control up, then three, then cancel into four. Then close, then yep. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. If the mind control was one second longer, he would never see the light of day. Yeah, I definitely feel like we will have enough power to do 75 once we get this uniform to Mythic. But anyways, boys, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know how you guys are personally feeling about this uniform. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I couldn't have asked for it. Well, that's not true. I could have asked for more because, you know, I love Psylocke and I heal. Would be nice, Net Marvel, but... I'm satisfied, very satisfied with what we got. She's smooth, she's easy to play, more damage than ever, more survivability than ever. So I'm with it, I'm with it. But leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know how you guys are feeling with it, man, because I love it, love it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.